here the sky sphere the grand sphere the urban sphere and actually uh, you know we announced also today that there's going to be an active sphere which obviously we can't talk much about it but there's more life. sphere coming there's more sphere and you know the difference is now but the sphere is about those cars are built from the inside out yes so the only the focus is purely on the passenger or driver whatever you decide mm -hmm. So that's the future, you know, it's like it's not, you're not always the, the driver, many times you might be the passenger. In Especially in the future. Especially in the future, and if you look at those cars, you basically can sleep in there, you can do any kind of things. It's more like a living room, yes. basically, on, on wheels, uh, and that's the beauty about it. Um, and, you know, we want to use the opportunity here to, to showcase, basically, what the future can look like. And you talk about the inside-out philosophy as kind of the dominant factor. After you're done with the inside out designing, what was the exterior? You, you've taken care of the interior, but what did you want to communicate once that was done on the outside? I mean, we, we still shouldn't forget the exterior, the look, it's always, you know, one of the most important things of, of those cars, even in the future. People want to look cool in their wig, and, and therefore it's also important to see those design lines. You know, different designers, different cars, because it needs to be appealing. You know? You're not going to sit in something which is a box. You know? So it, it needs to be, and you know, I think our designers did an excellent job. The outside look is always very important. The reaction to the sphere, I know my reaction, and I feel like the reaction I've heard from everybody, but tell me from your perspective, what has been the reaction to the sphere concept cars? You know, last year we had the world premiere of the Sky Sphere. Uh, we actually had it in our de design loft uh, here in Malibu Beach, close by, um, and uh, you know, the reaction was was you know, amazing. You know, like seeing the car and the car even with the extension of the wheelbase and like steering wheel disappearing, coming in out. So yes. just the idea, the concept of what is possible, right, uh, was great, amazing. And then since obviously we added a few more members yes. for different purposes. So the, the vision is also that we offer everything you know for different customers you know, convertible more sedan bigger suv i was fortunate enough to see some of the future audi product a few months ago what elements do you think are the most common or likely from the spheres that we're going to see in production cars this is like the future is definitely it's going to be more integrated even in those concept cars you see basically you can display on the woods you know, and it looks like a living room so that's definitely the direction we're gonna go and you know and if you've seen some of the future cars you know what I'm speaking about obviously the technology is uh, developing further again that there's more focus on the passenger or the driver of the car and we are also testing the feedback we're getting and see what is from a technology possible what is not and see how we can integrate it some of those aspects are pretty close to one of the serious cars you're going to see in the next few years there's a, a pretty impressive history of performance obviously with audi i mean this brand broke through a lot of barriers and accomplished things that had not been done before by other car companies and kind of set new rules for a lot of the racing yeah. things. how do you see the future of performance and audi kind Kind of continuing to play that element of its brand going forward. Mm. Performance is important. Uh, uh, even more important is our futures electric. We just launched uh, the Q4 e-tron and Q4 e-tron Sportback. We brought them to market and they're going to be on sale very soon. With those two models, we have the largest electric portfolio of any automaker in the United States. And that's something we're very proud of. We have been one of the first ones to introduce electric vehicles, and that's going to be the future. And of course, Audi Sport, the RS models, is a big heritage of our brand. And also transferring that to our electric models. We're going to be excited about what's still to come. What do you think? Whoa, there I'm thinking, I think the seat's active. And it's Don't worry, nothing else will happen. And okay? it apparently wants me to relax, so yeah, exactly. uh, I'm not going to fight it. Uh, but here I am, sitting in the Audi Sphere concept and just really taking in all the design elements that the Audi folks were good enough to explain to me. And, and I mean, <laughs> the things that you see going on in here, whether you've got uh, screens in the back of the seats, uh, you've got seats that tilt like this. I was just told this is the longest overall vehicle that Audi's ever produced. Five meters, right? Yeah, five meters, and then it's got over three meters of wheelbase. So it's all about the interior. And, you know, like so many concept cars, this doesn't necessarily mean we're going to see this exact car in the future, but there's a lot of indicative elements that we're going to see manifesting in future Audi products. I think one of the coolest things, if you look up there, it's got this fabulous wood grain material in here, 
but it's also capable of displaying information in the wood grain, not on a separate monitor, but right in the finish of the wood. And of course, the openness, you know, everyone wants to be open and airy and feel like you've got this massive room. And when you've got this kind of physical space, plus this kind of open roof design, it just, it feels like you're sitting in an auditorium almost versus a car. Sit down. So this, this is the grand sphere. In 10 minutes, it's kind of the, kind of the ultimate sedan, exactly, right? Yeah. All right, so here we are in the Grand Sphere Audi concept car. Basically like your ultimate luxury sedan. And I think when you look at the exterior of this vehicle, it's the proportions that you see that are really striking. The wheelbase, very long, pushed out to the ends, very little overhang. The angle of everything from the hood to the windshield and the roof, that's on the outside. Audi, as we know, has always been probably one of the leading car companies on interior design. And here we sit in an interior that again has got a lot of forward thinking elements in a world that will someday be all about the interior because you'll be driven around by a car that self-drives and you'll want to have an interior that feels like a place that you want to be comfortable and confident and relax because the car is doing the driving for you. <laughs> How about that? We've decided that we want to go back to archaic times where the humans actually controlled the car and uh, the Audi uh, Grand Sphere concept lets you do that. You can switch from being driven to having control and driving yourself. And, uh, <laughs> this is pretty amazing because you don't just get a steering wheel, you get this kind of floating uh, gauge cluster that's right in front of the steering wheel. Excellent information provided just through the wheel uh, and now you've switched back to uh, well, if you're an enthusiast, you get to drive yourself. If you want to switch back, just push the button. This one here? Yeah. So right here. As I like to say, in a situation like this, there was some engineering going on here, I believe. Relax mode. I mean, the steering wheel's gone, so why not just kick back completely, right? <laughs> and you actually still have this great view. Even though you're at this angle because of the roof design, you're still able to see out. This would be great. You know what? You kind of have your own planetarium. Now at nighttime, you're going to drive like this and you're going to gaze at the stars instead of at the road because the car is driving you. <laughs> so that was Grand Sphere and this is Sky, Sky Sphere. All right, now here, wow, look at this gauge cluster, look at this display system. <laughs> it's a wave of technology in front of you, literally. And check it, look at this, look at the map here, oh my gosh. Wow. And as I was just told, this one actually has a changeable wheelbase. So if you look at the exterior, you can see where there's uh, room for it to retract or expand to change the wheelbase. The idea being that when you don't want to drive, it gets longer, you get more space, and you relax. And when you do want to drive, it gets a shorter wheelbase so that it will turn more rapidly and uh, the steering wheel comes out and you drive yourself. You want to go in driving mode? Yes, please. Wow, everything gets close and easy. Pedals, the pedals come right out to you. And look at these, look at the switch gear. It's kind of crystal glass switch gear. And everything, everything is an information, just information everywhere. You've got information on the armrest. Information throughout the center console and of course the gauge cluster and the dash. Legendary automotive. Look at the light. I just love the light. Gordon Murray. Proportions of the roof. It's almost like uh, an old classic, like 60s roadster. Like almost a custom, like a 50s, 60s roadster in terms of the extremity of the uh, windshield angle and how short it is. I'm ready. The future is now and I'm ready for it.